Barada, Croissa, an early marathon. Welcome to the sun shining. The start line is just there. We're going to be going in 15 minutes. And uh, me and Robbie Fowler take it on the marathon with us. Here's my plan slash timings. Penna Pass, halfway at Beth Geller and then to Wambau. We need to adjust those times because we just found out it's starting five minutes late. 10.35 because it's so popular. Traffic's going crazy. Weather is perfect. Conditions are ideal. George, George, don't worry, we're taking the coat off to run. Um, and I've got a little treat for you. That's right, custom made. Keep it nasal so. Let's go. Three, two, run. Okay, so here I am at a roaring start to the race, but it's not long before things slow down a bit because we head up our first climb to Penna Pass. We checked the time, 38 minutes when we got to add five onto that, 38 minutes for me. That was seven minutes ahead of schedule, and I was very happy, but was slightly worried. We were going too fast down the hill, enjoying the insane views down for Penna Pass, and we have a track on our way down to Beth Killet. Uh, we're flying at this point, we're feeling good, we get excited because someone comes up behind, it's the 3.30 marker, but it's not long since feeling good that we check the watch as we're coming into Beth Gellet. We are just about on time, about four minutes behind schedule, but then just as we're feeling good, the wheels start to fall off, which isn't good because the climb out of Beth Gellet is disgusting. So bad, I didn't get my camera out. I am hanging at this point. This is after the climb. Runners are going past me like there is nobody's business. I feel like that guy, but luckily I'm not cramping up. But as he's walking, it takes me a while to even get past him. But listen to the cheers. The aid stations were insane. The support was incredible and unbelievable. It is an absolute slog from Beth Gellet to Wan Vauer. And the problem is, it doesn't get any better. Because when you get to Wanvara, you have got your third, luckily final climb. I am dumping CO2 like there is no tomorrow. We are jogging and walking and jogging and walking. Finally though, you get down to the path where the four hour pacer just passed me. I look at my watch and I'm like, there's 3K to go. And I've got 18 minutes. We can do this. Following the nose, I spot him. We're finally actually catching up. Yes, I haven't overtook anyone for literally hours. Finally I catching am. up with a four hour guy. And I am like, I am having you, sunshine. Here we go, that's him, that's a four hour man. Come and have a little selfie with him. Am I pleased to the see combo. you? <laughs> Good, I'm pleased. I still <laughs> <laughs> yeah, People weren't happy to see him because he was going past him, but I was happy because I caught him back up and I was going past him. Knowing we're coming in under the four hours, the support down through the main straight in Flamberis, absolutely incredible. Listen to these noises and these cheers. That fellow that's just gone past there, we were having a two and throw almost the entire time. Jacko filming himself like an absolute numpty. Luckily, Mr. Jacko caught it on camera. I'm so happy that one, this is finally over uh, because the UK's toughest marathon was no joke. And those three climbs, um, yeah, they say they add about 30 minutes to your marathon time. So I was very happy, yep, to come in under four hours. That hurt. <laughs> 